So picking back up from where we left off, what, what is the energy of a photon and what does it depend on? And there's a very simple equation which is due to Einstein, and that finds that it only depends on their frequency, or if you like, their wavelength, because remember that frequency and wavelength are directly related. Uh, and there's plenty of other things it could have depended on that we didn't talk about, and we'll talk about that more in a, in a later video, uh, but it, it really is just the frequency of the wave that matters. And the formula is very simple, and it's E equals HF, uh, where E is the energy of our photon, H is Planck's constant, and that is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules, uh, joules seconds. We see it has to be joules seconds because the units of frequency are per second. Remember we said that, well, the thing number of waves passing point per second, that's our frequencies. The per second must be the units for our frequency. Uh, so we see that if our energy is in joules, that's the units of energy, uh, then the Planck's constant has to have the units of joules seconds. Uh, and so finally, this f is the frequency of our photon. So with this remarkably uh, simple formula, we just see that photon energy is just proportional to the frequency of photons, uh, which is which is a very simple way of finding its energy. Uh, equally, if we wanted to express that in wavelength, we just use that. Our lambda is given by c, which is the speed of light, divided by our frequency. Uh, so we know that our frequency is just given by, uh, remember it was c divided by lambda. Uh, and so we can just substitute that in there to see that E is just going to be given by H C over lambda is the expression of that in wavelength. It's always easier just to remember this and then to, to work it out the next step. Uh, to, to remember both is a bit much. You will always need to remember this formula anyway, so it's not any extra work. So just remembering this formula and then remembering to put F equals C over lambda into this equation to get the uh, equation for the uh, energy of a photon uh, in wavelength. So what do we see from that? Well we have that it's inversely proportional to wavelength, that's what we've just calculated there. E is uh, proportional to, you know, 1 over lambda. So high frequency small wavelength waves have more energy or, uh, than low frequency long wavelength photons. So what do we mean by that? Well, we just mean that if we go back to this table here, our radio waves, if you remember, have a very long wavelength. But a very long wave wavelength, you remember, uh, means that they have a very low energy because high frequency have more energy than low frequency, which is to say the small free wavelength has more energy than long wavelength. So this tells us that our radio waves have very low energy and our gamma rays have very high energy. Hence their danger, because as we go along this way, our energy increases and our waves get uh, gradually more, more dangerous to us. And so we move from these low energy waves up through uh, up through microwave infrared visible all the way to these high energy rays. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A level physics videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make A level physics a walk in the park.